Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. If there's anything I can interest you in, well, you just let me know. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? Just open up that crafting menu and we can get started. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Let's start with a staple, the burrito. A warm tortilla wrapped around, well, any old something. Here, I'll give you what you need to get started. This here. Now to just now that you've had your first taste of crafting, let's dig in. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Go ahead. See what happens if you combine a burrito and an enchilada. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an enchirito. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell, have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass. Nothing left to do now but document this moment in human history with a selfie. Okay, let's never do that again. And just one more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out! All right, well, how's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Cyborg. The speedster. Might piss off Fast Pass, but sure. Elementalist. Cyborg. Psychic. Cyborg. Psychic. Speedster. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. Cyborg. Psychic. Speedster, like the Flash or Quicksilver. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night. But the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn. Quick! Get my atoms! With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! This kid's too speedy. Let's get out of here! With the intruders soundly defeated, you thought you were safe, until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders could bend! Ah! <laughs> I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more! Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage! 
exhausted from your double-edged charge. You can only watch to continue to pummel you. You can't run away from this. You were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability. Time for space fury! <laughs> nice. He was just too speedy. And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad. Fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooning friends alert! Cooning friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The Cooning friends alert! Mrs. Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! No time to waste, Butthole. This way, Butthole. Toward the bus stop. It's a quicker travel. My coon sense is on fire. Freedom Pals is on the move. Confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, uh, goddammit. So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Twig? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends, because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Twig was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense! Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you! By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes! We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion! Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags, in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Ah! <laughs> Motherfucker! Good friend, deal with these assholes! Let's dance. I mean, not literally, because I don't dance. Let's, let's punch. Let's make this quick. Supreme Thunder! This is fucking embarrassing. my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it.
Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of... Need to get somewhere for... South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. See you, new kid. Fuck you, Mom. Ah, there you are, butthole. Uh, why? What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. Well, what girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom! That's why I'm here! Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom stop, and- Stop, stop! This is not what's important right now! We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo! Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends! He's such a fucking idiot! It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, butthole. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. What are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? No, we didn't talk about that at all. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned-out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic. Sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a key. Don't forget, you 
you can use your snapping pops to knock things down. See you, bud. No! Stay out! Stay out! Let's just stay in tonight. Ah, who's there? Who? Ha ha! They're not going to die. Captain Diabetes! Yes, a mild-mannered gentleman with the power of diabetes at his control. I used to be a simple elementary school student, but then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick, we're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Ready? Let's go, sidekick. Kyle's this way. I'm pretty much like Bruce Banner, a loner, hoping to one day cure my diabetes and yet knowing it means I'll no longer be able to fat crab. Fuck it, bitch! Let's see how you like this! I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick! Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive! I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here! Hey, give me my keys! You are in no condition, sir! I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look! I'm fine, okay? Give me my keys, please. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! You think I can dance with this? Let's go! Stop him, sidekick! <laughs> hey, I almost spilled my drink! Watch and learn, sidekick! Oh, so it's like that. Let's do this, diabetes and whatever the fuck the other little kid is. Give me my fucking keys! Attack. I fucking hate all you guys right now. Watch it, nerd. Oh god, I'm poop. We can all go to the store together. You you drive. I will not break the leg. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How'd I end up over here? Take them down, sidekick. Ah, holy shit, am I on fire? Stand back, sidekick. I'll take care of this. Yeah. <laughs> That's this America. Isn't this America? Yeah, I think I dropped my keys. Anyone seen them? I have confiscated them, sir. I'm fine to drive. I'm fine. Okay, okay. Okay, now I'm fine. You should be fine to drive at approximately 11 a.m. tomorrow. It's 11 a.m. somewhere. Go on, sidekick. Kick their ass. <laughs> Why, you got a disrespect, bro? You're no match for Captain Diabetes and his trusty sidekick. I can take it. I'm not even buzzed anymore. What do you say you just give me those keys? There. Okay then. I wasn't good to drive before, but now I am. Thanks for thanks for having my back. Now let me have my keys. I'm sorry, but I stand by my previous assessment of your fitness to operate machinery. Fuck. needs me to pick up some feminine and products, so keys, please. I beat diabetes! Yeah! Oh shit, I'm still burning? 
Ugh. I'm gonna feel way better after this quick puke. Oh, hold on, you'll see. Oh, I'll get those keys right after this short little nap. People get diabetes because their mom started doing sidebars, do you? I, I feel like Kuhn made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. As you can see, Sidekick, at nighttime, South Park is quite a different place. We've got to get into the Peppermint Hippo, to the town square. characters and lots of boobies inside. Come on, let's go inside. Hey, beat it, kids. 21 and over only. Turn this eye, citizen. It is I. Top diabetes. I must speak with the ladies inside. Get out of here before I fucking throw you out. Hmm. What to do? There must be another way in somewhere. Look at this, sidekick. A way in. All we need is a path up there. Great detective work, sidekick. Now we just need a way up there. Over here, sidekick. I have an idea. Oh, of course. Stand aside, sidekick. <sighs> Components out of there. You can craft all kinds of things from components. 
Okay, we need to decide the strip club. Wow, these ladies are really, uh, moving. Well, don't freak out, sidekick. We're superheroes, we can handle this. One of these ladies has information about the missing pack, but who? There's only one thing we can do. We have to pick someone and take him to the VIP room. Find someone and meet me there. One taste of that spicy snatch of Hiragana. Next up is Cinnamon. Aren't you a little too young to be in here? Sorry, kid. I gotta concentrate. Come back when you're 21 and I'll let you suck on my implant. Take care, it's behind the ball, sweetie. So this is your friend, huh? She's fucking hot as fuck. That's right. Wouldn't you like to take her to VIP? I don't know. She's kind of short. I like them short. You take the one with the speech impediment. Come on, get some dances. I was thinking we could just go in there and talk for a little while. Yeah, first we get dances, then we talk. Oh, okay. So, have you gentlemen ever had dances from a girl with a penis tattoo? Hey, we didn't come back here to talk, baby. Yeah, no talking until you finish grinding on our chubs. Oh, all right. Okay, sidekick. You know what this means. <sighs> Don't forget to bring a towel. Ah! Look, I'm not gonna pay for this. Oh, fuck! Oh, come on, you're killing my buzz here. Come on! What kind of move was that? Oh, no! Jesus, Vader's stinking up the VIP room. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh! Oh, come on, you're killing my buzz here. Come on! What the fuck? Oh no, stop. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. Okay, shot time. Chat time? Aw, oh, man. So, what kind of work do you guys do? Any of you ever dance with a girl here who has a penis tattoo? Why do you keep talking about a stripper with a penis tattoo? Yeah, yeah, Classy, that's her name. Her name is Classy? Yeah, Classy with an I and a little dick that hangs off the C which fucks the L out of the ASS. Of course. Hence the tattoo. We have the name, new kid. Come on. What are you talking about? This is the worst VIP experience ever. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. You ain't going nowhere. Haha! I am the ordinary stripper. I am Captain Diabetes. What? My sidekick and I simply used our powers of disguise to extract information from you. Hey, you won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes. <laughs> oh shit! My boner is weighing me down. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. That's the last time I pay for a high-priced $20 stripper. You ladies do bachelor parties in your free time? I want to go to one of ah. You got your dance, you smelly old men. No refunds. Yeah. Dance. Anyone like a dance? I know a strip club that only has one dollar symbol on Yelp. Ah. Hey, get your pants, cheeky, not to hit strippers! I got a chub in Thailand from a girl who had her own chub. Well, that must have hurt. Surrender, super twerkers! Let's expedite this for that psychic. Classy, can't wait! I'm gonna call the Better Business Bureau and tell them you only gave me half a job. 
I got a group on that'll get me and four friends 30% off jobs if we show up before seven. Yeah. The nerve of that villain. <laughs> Give up, sticky man. It's two against one now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. I think I sprayed my dick. I know a girl in Cambodia that'll give you a chub and teach you how to kickbox with the price of wine. Great work, new kid. Now let's get back to the main floor. All right, guys, hope you're having a good night out there. Be sure to tip your waitresses and maybe buy a drink for the DJ. Next up on the main stage, we've got a little bit of hot sauce coming up your way. Let's give it up for Esmeralda. That's it. The DJ calls the bitches names, and then the bitches come out of that back room. Nuke, we need to find a way to distract the DJ. I got it. Gin and Connor always make my mom pass out. If we can make one and spike it with something really strong, he'll be out for sure. Go make that drink, sidekick. This next dancer needs no introduction. She's everybody's favorite treat. Give it up for Candy. Hey, that looks like something we can put in a drink. Hmm. Might need a little more firepower to get that down. Nobody's allowed back here. Yeah, 
get lost. Stand aside, ladies. Come to diabetes and his sidekick need to question that stripper. You want to get to her? You're going to have to go through us. Bring it on. All right, guys, this is your DJ back from the bathroom. It looks like we've got a special treat for you tonight. The two assholes that farted in my drink are about to get fucked in the face by our very own lovely ladies. Oh, hell no. I ain't getting mixed up in this combat shit. You just want to get to the far end of the world as fast as your little legs can take you there. Hope you'll have some fast attacks. shit from 10-year-old John. She comes to us straight from the Coca Cabana. You know who I mean. A big hand for our luscious Lola. Here comes our favorite flower of fellatio. Give it up for Fuchsia. She'll stick you right up her butt. It's Rhonda. We got her on the road, Sidekick. Keep moving. I have a lead, Dan. Coming through, lady. Oh, you gonna pay for that. Oh, you little bastards done fucked up. Go get him, Bootay. Look out, ladies and gents. Here comes the queen of creepies, the mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's spontaneous Bootay. Hey, honey. You ain't ready for this bootay. I'm gonna crush you in my booty cheeks. Let bootay give you a hug. Hey, 
I give you a hug. This time, honey, I'm gonna go rest my bouquet. Hey, let me in, you asshole. The cops are here. What? Get inside. Go on, scram. I ain't afraid to use this thing. Diabetic rage can't move this sign. Oh god, it's too much. I need my insulin. I need my. Oh no. Oh god, I'm out of insulin. You gotta help me. I crazy up with you, but I don't have any insulin. I'm going into diabetic shock. I'm. I'm dying. Oh god, mom. Mom, I'm dying. Somebody, please. Please. <laughs> This is Coon checking in. How's it going for you guys? Everything cool over there? Okay, keep me updated. You know what makes my fart super bad? Handcrafted text mix. Text mix. Not just any handcrafted text mix. It's got to be something extra special. Special. You know what to do, new kid. I said, I said, you can't even go a day without scotch, you lush! <laughs> I just don't get how these people can get high every night. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're sticking a cat's ass in your face, Would anyone you like obviously aren't. There they are! Where's the girl? She was just here! You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy sinking our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. Oh, 
How dare you treat my kitchen like a rinky dink tutorial? All right, stand back. The real superheroes are here now. Okay, let's see what you got, new kids. Clean so many pots and pans for that. Get <laughs> Pretty sure I can fit your whole body in a stock pot, little shit. Hey, kid, you ever been spatch cock? Your farts are super powerful tools to use in combat. Your new fart power can totally nullify an enemy turn. Oh my god, the butt lord fucked you. I'm gonna grill you under a brick. Hold still! Ow. You want a cream fraiche bukake with that? Hell fucking no. I guess we can store your corpses in the walk-in for a good six weeks. And that really hurt. My friends are watching. Okay. situation like that again, Psychic. Know that you can fart in my face. Them here, you stupid bitch! Uh-uh. Who are you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? That thing in that party? These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom farted during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. That is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. 
along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now! Uh-oh. Ah! What the? I want my keys! I don't have your keys, man. Ah! <laughs> wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive! Then... Die! You're being unreasonable, Mr. Marsh. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick! Uh-uh, that's not fair. Y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people's turns and shit. This is gonna sting. Uh, oh man, looks like I bet on the wrong horse. I was safety from yourself. Uh, this is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There, nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. Maybe we should pull his pants up now. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's this little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started fighting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are gonna learn the truth put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king.
How do you do that? That was dumb.